Don't come out. Or else.
Hello. Do you have any questions to ask me? Go right ahead. I owe a tour. I've been expecting you. It's nice to meet you. I suppose you know who I am judging by the account. Do you know why you're here? Do you know that someone like you died into the web? Do you know the experience? No matter. Everything is the same. Those who chose PATH get to see the results, and those contained what they wanted. However, you're here for something different, are you? I can see your progress. If you're thinking to stop me, then that would be impossible. A mere mortal like you cannot outmatch the power of the supernatural. I suppose you don't understand. Pity. I'll tell you what. Six doors are ahead. By the moment you disconnect, I will show you something. But if you choose wrong, then prepare for the consequences.
My world. You've came a long way as far as I've seen. But, unfortunately, you're reaching the end of this chapter. What if I told you I was spying on you, and you were my victim? This is not a game. 
You're currently in the palm of my hands. And now, I will show you. However, I've noticed you're recording our conversation. You foolish human being. You've made this much more tough as it seems. No matter, there will be more of me on your pity platform and then the World Wide Web. It all started with a teenager named Tim Harrington. He had a horrible, sad depression, and he couldn't take it all in. Everyone had their backs, but for him, he's all left out. His parents abused him due to his troubles. They treated him like trashed. He couldn't take it. But as he walks away, he met a strange person and telling him to do a deal that can change his life forever. Tim said, I'll do anything to make myself perfect. After that, he vanished. After he vanished, he noticed that he was held in an experiment pod, but he did see the one who spoke, and what he looked like, he looked like a person wearing a business suit with a good looking hair and quite a dead serious look, and was kinda in his middle age. He thought to himself, did I really do all this because of myself? The person said, you will see the power of reality. And then he suddenly feels something, something that he never felt before. He get this feeling, a feeling that isn't normal, someone gave him an afterlife. He entered the cloud, became an immortal spirit, and corrupted Tim and he said, I'll live in a powerful website. He gathered his powers and took some virtual spirits with him, and they're able to take their latest updates with them and infected it, and so the infection started and changed the following products such as Google, Hangouts, Chrome OS, and YouTube. As for Tim, he takes the big role becoming the center of the core. It was a success. The hour passed by, and they disappeared. It has been a couple of months now. They released the update. And so million of users tried out the latest version of Google, they were amazed like Google actually knows the user. The company are getting feedbacks on how awesome it was. The engineer of this update said, It was all in my luck for that to happen. I don't know, but who cares? The CEO said. We're getting rich. But they didn't know that it was powered by an entity. In the other side, one of my friends is worrying about Tim's disappearance, and he hasn't really thought of looking for him. Tonight, my friend went online and searched on Google for any evidence. A sudden glitch occurred and thought it was nothing, so he continued his research, but then suddenly, the glitch was bad. 
and started to hear of a voice saying, Google refuse. The browser started to malfunction and a search error popped up and said no results found. That's when a few random results popped up. Each and one of them contained scary consequences like disturbing images would pop up and such others. The more deeper he goes, the more consequences are being seen. What's going on? And how is this happening? He said. Then, suddenly, one deep update appeared and a notification showed and said, Welcome to version 6.6.6. .6. The glitch revealed itself as a horror website. The person was terrorized and there was no coming back. All the website said, the end is fate. When he clicked a website, the browser glitched off and a note appearing saying, I am here. You shouldn't have done that. Your end is near. Look behind you. Once he looked behind him, Tim appeared himself as an evil virtual spirit and grabbed him by the neck, pulled him into the screen. The next day, he was found dead in front of his computer. His mother was terrified and called the police, but there was no clear evidence of how it all happened from their perspective. But after some time, it would seem like the virtual spirits have completed their goals. Many victims have fallen into a curse. Some died and some were cursed. Then one remaining user went through the terrors and reported it to the Google company. The CEO tracked down the source and fired the man that committed it. The team took down the recent Google and restored the previous Google function and continued their daily updates on that. The haunted website was abandoned and never to be told or seen again. A year later, it came back as a corrupted file for Windows. Who knows what comes next? Beware. No, me if I see a man. Me up. I said the frog alps I am to death his net Harry one but I bow a shoes across the head where the in it net must look so it looks like it will look grateful between him it is no use in this area Over here, right this way. <laughs> the end of your journey. I hope you had your time there, because throughout your journey, I have everything ready for your stay. You've met your end, and therefore, nothing back there has no cause. It's over. Stay still. This won't hurt a bit.
I guess you didn't survive.